This is the LRM or the line route map. Line route map or the LRM gives LED indications to the passengers sitting inside the saloon about the status of the train vis-a-vis -vis the stations on the route. For example, LEDs for all stations that have already passed will be lit in red. LEDs for the upcoming immediate station will be blinking in orange. And the rest of the stations up to the destination station will be glowing in green. Additionally, the LRM also gives information about the status of the door after the arrival message is triggered. The various parts of the LRM are as follows. The indication board module, the outer material, connector, The various PCBs of the LRM are as follows. This is the LED APCB or P3110579. There are 72 LEDs available on the LRM in total. 20 LEDs are located on this PCB. Besides these 20 LEDs, the door open and the door close LEDs are also located on this PCB. This is the LED B PCB or P3110580. 26 LEDs are located on this PCB. This is the LED C PCB or P3110581. 26 LEDs are located on this PCB. This is the CPU or the power PCB or P3110582. This is the main PCB of the LRM. As the name suggests, it provides power to the CPU power PCB and the other LEDs and carries out the following functions. The technical specifications of the LRM are as follows. The electrical data of the LRM is as follows. Let us now show you the ID number configuration of the LRMs. When we face the driver's cab of the DT1 car from saloon side, the right hand side will always be right side and the left hand side will always be left side for all the cars, that is DT1 car, M1 car, M2 car and DT2 car. Now, in DT1 car, the first LRM on the right hand side of the saloon will have the following ID number configuration. The SW2 rotary switch will be set on car is always the master. Similarly, the second LRM on the right side of the saloon will have the following ID number configuration. SW2 rotary
right side of the saloon will have the following ID number configuration. The SW2 rotary switch will be set to 4. SW4 rotary switch will be set to right. Now, let us see the ID number configuration of LRMs on the left side of the saloon. The first LRM on the left side of the saloon will have the following ID number configuration. SW2 rotary switch will be set to 5. SW4 rotary switch will be set to left. The second LRM on the left side of the saloon will have the following ID number configuration. SW2 rotary switch will be set to 6. SW4 rotary switch will be set to left side. The third LRM on the left side of the saloon will have the following ID number configuration. SW2 rotary switch will be set to 7. SW4 rotary switch will be set to left side. The fourth LRM on the left side of the saloon will have the following ID number configuration. SW2 rotary switch will be set to 8. SW4 rotary switch will be set to left side. The following block diagram will give you an overview of ID number configurations of LRMs in a 4 car train that is DT1 car, M1 car. M2 car and DT2 car.